Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I want to talk about the next Netflix and no, I'm not talking about Apple, I'm not talking about Amazon, HBO, any of those stocks. I'm talking about Peloton, the company that sells exercise bikes you might be asking and yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about because they are not just a bike exercising company, they are a content distributor and recently more and more people are noticing, especially after their earnings results. Connected Fitness Equipment Company roughly doubled its revenue and its subscriber total in just completed fiscal year and predicts it will happen again. So let's take a look at how much their stock has grown. It IPO'd around $29 of last year and as of today, it's almost at $80. So it's quadrupled in value in less than a year. Here we can even see that when the pandemic hit, it barely affected it. It was just a tiny little drop and it continued to just grow, grow and grow. And the reason it's been so untouchable and strong is because it's really capitalizing on our new reality of people not going to the gyms. They had this commercial that went semi-viral, but kind of for the wrong reasons. People were really laughing at it. It was just funny how obsessed and thankful this woman was for her Peloton. But like they always say, any press is good press. And this definitely put it on the radar for me and a lot of other people. And it turns out it's incredibly popular. And this is a great example of a stock that I actually personally, I didn't find the appeal of because I like going to the gym. I like working out in an environment where other people are working out. But given the circumstances, that's just not an option anymore. And a lot of people just do cardio. They don't lift weights. They don't do other things. They just want to stay in the comfort of their own home. And not only that, this actually does give you the great social aspect. And this is, again, why it's more like Netflix. It's because treadmills and bikes have been around for a long time now. But what Peloton did differently is this video system that streams content on a subscription-based service. When you buy a Peloton, you also have access to their library of over 5,000 pre-recorded videos. And every day they also have a handful of videos live. And not only that, it is able to track a bunch of metrics. You can see and even chat with other people that are in the same workout as you. You can move up in the leaderboard. And again, the key thing is it's all in the comfort of your own home. You can be social without ever going out. Now there's a couple of options. We have the Peloton bike, the Peloton bike plus. This one has a slightly bigger screen and then there's a little bit more advanced functions, but you can see that the all access membership is separate. Now having to buy a bike and then buy a monthly membership seems to be a little bit pricey, but actually if you think about the cost of a gym membership or a CrossFit membership, those can range from as cheap as $30 all the way up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So when you compare it to that, it's actually quite cheap. And this is actually the market that they are competing against. They aren't competing against regular treadmills. This will eventually maybe take the place of a gym, especially if you have a majority of people that really love classes. You can see here that it started off with a bike, but now it's actually also in the treadmill game as well. And then in addition to the bikes and the treadmill, you can actually also now just try the app and the application is where its library of classes are available and if they are producing high quality content people will be streaming these and this will replace the gym for a lot of people and not only is it like Netflix in the fact that it's streaming content to you but it's like Netflix in the fact that this stock has a great chance of experiencing astronomical growth. Early on in the pandemic people were getting lazy they weren't accepting of the new reality but as people are used to staying at home now they're trying to get back into shape they want to get moving again. Going out is still not an option for a lot of people. And Peloton is the answer to that. Now, I personally am still resistant to it. I think it's a little bit overpriced. And honestly, you can buy a much cheaper bike and then just watch movies yourself. But these simple solutions that require some work just aren't easy enough for most people. Peloton really packages it together in one environment. And my prediction is aside from bikes and treads, they will come out with products that will include even weightlifting at some point. And once you have a physical weightlifting product in combination with a huge library of weightlifting videos, then gyms would really need to start worrying. If we take a look at this article from MarketWatch, analyst Scott Divitt argued that Peloton has a big runway ahead and likened the company to Netflix. Peloton has a huge lead 
on in-home cardio workouts and will eventually build up its strength offerings just like how Amazon started with books and is now the everything store further. Now that's a big deal. They're comparing it also to Amazon because this is just the beginning of Peloton. Like I said, it IPO'd only just last year and yet it's already so successful. There are so many different types of products that they could sell to their customers once they have a physical thing inside their house. Once Peloton is the main thing keeping you healthy, I think consumers will have a much easier time buying the next thing that Peloton offers, especially if it's so convenient, if it's included in their membership that you're already a part of. I think this is a great long-term investment, especially since unfortunately, the way we are handling the illness is not doing that well. So it seems like we're going to be stuck at home for a while. So this company is definitely still in its infancy and I would recommend that you get in while you can if you think what I said makes sense. That's all I got. Please like and subscribe if that was helpful. Follow this channel where trading squires become knights. Thank you and I'll see you next time.